Hi, and welcome to The Honeymoon Home. We are so glad you're here. If you've watched any of our videos so far, you may know that we are walking our four-year-old daughter through the ABCs as we homeschool her for preschool. But today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to take some time and go over our philosophy for preschool homeschool with our daughter. Before staying home with my kids, I was a third grade teacher for eight years. And when I sat down to plan out homeschooling preschool for our daughter, I got on Pinterest and found all these different themes. I got my calendar out and I started plugging in themes for each week. And then I finally stumbled on the idea of going through the ABCs one week at a time. The ABCs just seemed like a fun way for us to stay engaged and come up with activities for the next 26 weeks. Our main focus is reading books and doing crafts. I also have a blog post from, I believe last year, where I talked about if, there are, if you only do two things with your young kids, have them play outside and read books to them. A lot of time spent in preschool is spent playing. So we still play a lot. My kids play together, they play outside, we go on play dates. We spend a lot of our day playing. When we sit down to do our preschool time, I do that while my two-year-old is napping. So once I put my two-year-old down for his nap, I sit down with my four-year-old and we have our homeschool time, Monday through Friday. And if it were up to her, she would do Saturday and Sunday too. Um, and what we, just, what we do is we spend, some days it's 10 minutes, some days it's 45 minutes. It just kind of depends. Um, but we'll read a book and we'll do an activity. I use Pinterest as a resource to help me find activities. I use books as a guide to help me come up with things. I also try not to spend a whole lot of money. I do have a lot of craft supplies on hand. Um, I'm a bit of a craft collector. And so I'm able to do a lot of the crafts without having to run out to the store, which is really nice. Um, if you're following along with our crafts and activities in our videos and you see something you'd like to do but don't have the supplies, feel free to tweak it. It does not have to be exactly the way that we are doing. Um, it does not have to be exactly the way that we are doing it. So give yourself some freedom and um, use your creativity. If you've watched any of our videos, I'm sure you have seen me talk about books and specifically Usborne books. So before I started homeschooling this summer, I became an Usborne book consultant and part of the incentive for me was that I get a discount on any Usborne books. So because I was homeschooling, I thought that was a perfect way to get some discounted quality books and um, I love sharing them with you guys. Do you have to buy new books in order to homeschool your child for preschool? No, absolutely not. But I do find that having these fun, new, especially these interactive Lift the Flat books, um, I feel like they are help to keep things, um, help to keep the kids engaged and excited about new things. So, but you definitely do not have to buy books. Um, we also love going to the library. I think that's a great um, skill to have, getting a library card and going to the library and checking out books. We went recently and got, we were doing the letter E, so we got eyes and ears. Um, I love nonfiction books, not only from the library, but if you notice, my Usborne books here are also nonfiction. I just love nonfiction books. They are chock full of so much information. And um, while fiction books are fabulous, I just, there's just something about a nonfiction book, especially when it comes to the books I'm choosing for our homeschool. So utilize books to help teach information. Just today, my daughter was talking about the fog and how when um, we see fog outside, that's, how, that's a cloud that has come down. And she did not learn that from me or from a show or from anything. She learned it from our What Are Clouds book that we, ha we got through Usborne Books and more. So books are a great way to teach your child. So if you're feeling inadequate, um, nonfiction books are a great way to teach information to your children. If you are planning to homeschool your preschooler, it's as simple as finding some nonfiction books, choosing some crafts, and just having fun. 
making sure your child is playing. Do I make sure my kids have quality toys? Yes. Do I make sure my kids play outside every day? Yes. And do I make sure they're reading books or I'm reading books to them? Absolutely. If you do nothing more than those three things with your preschooler, I think you'll be just fine. I would love it if you would share this video with anyone that you know that might be thinking about homeschooling their preschooler. And comment below if you have any questions at all. What would you like to know more about? Do you have any questions or are you liking our videos so, so far? If so, please like the video, subscribe, and comment below. We appreciate your support so much, and we will see you next time on The Honeyman Home.